everybody knows it's me, but no one's ever knocked on my door or reprimanded me or anything. So until then, I'm gonna keep on going. Uh, I'm Jeff from uh, Longwood, Florida. I always tell people it's about 10 miles east of Orlando because nobody knows where Longwood is. Let's paint the trail on Facebook. We're gonna start with an out of work carpenter who discovered another talent to brighten the Seminole Trail. Fox 35's Melissa Mahadeo has that story this morning. Art Drop is at the first of every month. Um, I, I just take a bunch of paintings that I've done. If I wanna make a bunch of them or I think it's gonna be popular, uh, I'll cut stencils out. Usually a three, four, five layered stencil. And the, the time consuming part is cut, cutting them out. But once I do that, I can bang them out like a copy machine. Started out, I was dropping off one or two, or the most like three in the beginning. And then eat when Easter came, I said, it's gonna be the Paint the Trail Easter uh, art drop. Uh, you know, and I did 16 of them and it was chaos. I mean, there were people, and I went back and read all the messages. People were like, you ran me up the road. And and uh, that, that person ran a red light. And then you hear the other person go, sorry. Like they, they, they're messaging people, they're texting back and forth on the Facebook page. Everybody's glued to the Facebook page because the only clue that they're gonna get is, it's a screenshot, a Google map shot. It's not an actual Google map link. I'll try to zoom out and show like Publix is here and this is like the major road, 434. The, and you can pretty much tell where it is. And so it's just a cannonball, I call it a cannonball run race to the painting, you know? So it's fun and, there's, there, and, it, and it seems like it's getting bigger more and more people are joining in on the fun. Yeah, well it's weird, it spiraled out of control as far as I started doing it to aggravate people because I had this sort of temperament thing going on, this attitude and uh, didn't have the best intentions. I thought some people might like it, but I thought the majority of people wouldn't like it. Every week we run and on Sundays he always puts up a couple new panels and my kids and I just love to look at them and read them. Kind of becoming the seventh wonder of the world for this place, you know. I just wanted to clear enough space and get out of there so that I could hang up my next set of paintings and before I could get out of there, uh, immediately, every, I mean, everybody stopped and was like, are you the guy doing this? And the very first guy, I mean, literally, as soon as I started pulling some weeds out, this guy on a bike stopped and, and he was like, hey, he yells, hey, at me in here. And, and I turn around and I'm expecting, you know, I'm calling the police or whatever. And he yells, did you do this? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I love it. And I was like, right then I was like, Wow, I mean, he's incredibly that, that talented. That is cool. Yeah, I always wondered what that was. I ride by there often, yeah. and now I know the whole story. Now we know. Gentleman walked up, this was probably about two years ago, and asked me, um, he goes, are you gonna be here for a little while? And I was like, yeah, why? He's like, oh, I'm gonna go get my kids. And then uh, I was like, yeah, I'll be here for like an hour. He came back 15 minutes later, and he had this little white, this white envelope. And he just walked up, and he didn't have any kids with him. And I was like, I thought you were getting your kids. He goes, here. And he hands me this envelope, and I was like, what's this? I opened it up. And it was a thank you card. You've been waiting to see me. And he actually lives around here. And it was a thank you card. And I can't tell you how, uh, Man, how many thank you cards and notes I've gotten from people. That's amazing. It is cool. And But he had $200 in there. Oh, wow. And I just remember like chasing him down the trail, like trying to give all of it back but $20. You know, I felt bad. And he was just like, no, I'll take it, please. And I was like, well, at least let me paint something for you. Because uh, everybody gives me requests. And he was like, oh, no, just do what you want. Was, and so I told everybody the whole story on Facebook about try to give the money back and he gave me all this money and he didn't even ask for a request and I just felt weird because like, no one had ever given me that much money.